the narrow path heads up through the heather, passing the ruins of Sheelings, where locals once lived while grazing their livestock here in the summer months. Before long, the climb steepens. Up and up. This is the highest mountain in the Southern Highlands at 3,983 feet. Frustratingly, that makes it just 17 feet short of joining the exclusive club of nine Scottish peaks over 4,000 feet. To correct this injustice, a group of Victorian hillgoers decided to give the Ben a helping hand and just push it over the 4,000 foot mark. And to do this, they built a, a massive cairn on the summit, topped off with a gigantic lump of quartz. Now, unfortunately, the Ordnance Survey thought this was cheating and didn't show the new height on their maps. Scaling false summits, I'm rewarded with some amazing views of cloud inversions, looking across the Benmore and Stabinian, other giants of this ancient district. Oh, look at that. The top of the world. Fantastic. Finally, after a three-hour climb, I make it to the top. The old summit cairn disappeared years ago and has long since been replaced by this slightly knackered-looking trig point. Now, from here, on a clear day, you should be able to see the expanse of Loch Tay below me, the distant mountains of Bredalban, and behind them, the Trossachs in the beginning of my tour. But unfortunately, as you can see, the mist has rolled in, making this a somewhat cloudy end to my grand tour from Loch Venacher to Loch Tay.